city I got all my people with me See the suckers when they say it Gotta put them for the air Yeah, we good in the city I got all my people with me See the suckers when they say it But the bestest mm-hmm. podcast in the world, the Keeping It 100 talk show, already. Mm-hmm. You know what's going on. But yeah, and shout out to the mob and all the fans that you already know what to do. Like, comment. share, comment, hit that bell, subscribe. subscribe. It, not, let me let me tell a friend to tell their friend. To, to tell, tell their friends. To tell their auntie to tell their cousins. Cause y'all ain't doing that anyway. To tell they the cousins that they sleeping around with. Nah, to tell but them too. nah, but for real, yeah, I, I'm gonna need y'all to grace how important this is, and I'm just gonna keep it real with you. Half of y'all, other than watching our show, half of y'all don't be on your YouTube for real. So I'm gonna need you to get on it, and even if you ain't on it all the time, bro, you you see the subscribe. Just it right there by my name. It say We Good Media. It it right there. All you yeah. gotta do is hit the just hit, just hit the, that's and it. it's gonna send you a notification. That's it. That's all you gotta okay. do. This that's all, you ain't even gotta Boop. do nothing else. Yeah. That's it. You feel me? Boop. I ain't even gonna no press trailer. you on no comment right now. You get what I'm saying? Boop. I am. But yeah. But guess what, y'all? It's the We Good podcast. Yeah. And we in this thing. Like we said. Period. But yeah, this what this is gonna be one of them like entertainment news episodes. Yeah. Or whatnot. Oh yeah, and before I forget. Big, big Diddy, the big one. Shout out to Diddy. We Shout out to Ramo. You, you get what I'm saying? We still waiting on. We you see us manifesting? You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Cause we gonna be on that channel. Please believe it. We on there. Like we we're already on there. It's already in the works. God has already placed it in the works already. Mm-hmm. So shout out to Diddy. Shout out to Revolt and everybody on the channel doing their thing. Just waiting on the email. That we part. could. That, that's See? it. That's it. You know, it might be in the spam. Diddy, you might need to resend it out. You know, it might be in the spam or something. But, but we we still waiting. I assistant fuck up too. Nah, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit. But that's okay because you know we got DMs. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And whenever you just want to call, you know. Because remember, you was look. You just posted. You was looking for God's workers. He did. He, he did. Yeah. And I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. I'm one of his children. Did did. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You know, I'm a unique name. Did it, did it, did it. I'm calling on did did every episode. Did did. Did did. Nah, but for real, manifestation is real. If y'all already don't know, like, we be playing around all the time, but nah. Maybe did Manifest- Manifestation is real no matter what you believe in. Just speak it out. You can believe in Buddha, Allah, God, anybody. Just mm-hmm. speak it out. And I'm telling you, it, but faith without works is, is dead. So you can't just just speak it and not work and towards it. You still gotta, you know, 
You still got to put it down. Ooh, she punched her in the face. God damn. Oh, yeah. I hope we pass the first five minutes. <laughs> See. Bah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> let's get let's get to let's get to reality TV. Like, honestly. Ooh. <laughs> that look like it hurt. No matter how much money they be they they offer, do you honestly think you're fit to be like on the bad girls club or like shows like that? Where, yeah, it'd be security, but they gonna let you openly get one or two off. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't like how, do, do you, you know, say say that came with the Kelly Cash 50K episode. Do you think, I mean, is, your, is your peace more important than the bag? Or you can control your peace for the I bag? I feel like, yeah, because at the end of the day, you control your narrative. You get what I'm saying? Like only, That's how it start. That's that, how it start. But see, y'all know me. I'm only going to finish what you start with me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I take that 50K episode because I'm, I'm the, I'm no, the one. No, I'm no, the one no, 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 Natalie rolling out 50K. Uh, no, but, I'm you know, that's just kind of that, But the way that they died her high, they need to be rolling out that. Man. They, 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 they body her face. See, see, Rolly, I, I've never been too much of a big fan of Rolly, and I can't stand her little homegirl slim. Yeah. But she's skinny. Her the way so Roly is not like, <gasps> not <laughs> Natalie out. <laughs> you no, know, but no, nah, not even Natalie. And the way she punched um Scotty, Scotty in her face. Baby. But on this week, it's Scotty a, got her lead back. Scotty was it's about to late. stop it. Bullshit. Scotty, Scotty nah, nah, nah. It ain't too late. Hell no. No, app you heard that. You see, we saw Natalie get, but we, but we heard yeah. Scotty hit. But like, would you consider that a sneak? Yes, yes. Even yes. though they were standing side by side. Yes. Even though Scotty tried to jump in because yes. they tried to jump. Yes, it was definitely a sneak. Yes, but one thing Krishan was right about. Yes, it was definitely a sneak, but you know where y'all at. You yeah, wasn't on point. You know you got. Yeah, you know you got so pressure with. It. Half these people, you get what I'm saying, and you weren't on point. I think they up there. So yeah, it was some, it was some sneak, it was some sneak, you know, sneak pussy shit. Cause I'd rather, you know, have somebody go toe to toe with me. But that's not, that's not saying that I won't never okay, sneak so, you. Okay, so now I'd rather go toe to toe face with you. But if I got real pressure with you, I don't give a damn if you. Paying attention, or I don't give a damn if you smoking a cigarette, baby. I'm on your, I'm on okay, your ass. Okay, so so that goes to my next question. And if y'all don't know, we talking about um, Bad and South. That's yes. on Zeus. Shout out to uh, the rinky dink version of, 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 the, of the Bad, bad Girls, Girls Club, Club from from Oxygen. Oxygen you right. know, <laughs> but, but shout out Zeus because yeah, they hell, y'all putting everybody up there. You can put us up there. And, so. and shout out to Bobby. I need love too because baby. That it's not given to me. It gives to me. It I think, give I think it gives. Me. I think it gives you an insight of the dating world outside of what we see. I think it's given exactly what it needs to give. I think it's. I think it's given. I think it's given. All all of the all of the gay boys that was on the slow bus. <laughs> Cause you know how you. I don't want to play like this. You 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 probably. <laughs> I didn't see like, the show. I don't because know. Because you probably. Would I, I be thinking. He can't and this may sound a little. Oh. This may sound a little. <laughs> a little ignorant, but you you know how. <laughs> growing up is is CKs. Mm-hmm. You know how your grandma used to say, "They ain't nothing but a spirit." Yep. I ain't think the spirit jumped on slow folks, but all of them gives me slow bus. Like the whole cast is it not? I love you, Rolling Ray, but you been giving slow, so it, it's okay. It's a, we used to, but you know what? Slow. After but, watching that, I'm not that big of a fan of Rolling Ray no more. I, you giving me real bully. Yeah, I could, but I feel like. But I only feel like you only giving <laughs> because you because feel you're like teamed up with a mean girl. Yeah. So like. 
Baby, y'all was just beefing two years ago. You was talking all this shit. A nigga, a gay nigga in a wheelchair that talks a lot of shit. That that talks a lot. A lot of shit. Like, Like, you know. Woo. And when I say slow bus, I mean like in Shamar class slow. Yeah. Like, you know. Like him and Shamar should be friends. I think they are friends. No, I think they get into it a lot because, you know, two slow people can't. You know what? But on to the next. All right. Um. But speaking of speaking of baddies, <laughs> one person on baddies that's a fan favorite <laughs> is Christian Rock. Jayla, she she. A fan. I love Jayla, but she fake as fuck. You you know what? And because if you compare to Jayla, Jayla Oxygen Jayla, and what you see right now, them is two different bitches. I don't know Oxygen Jayla. To don't be know. honest, she was with uh, she was the one who was with the twins. Uh, okay, that's, Sha- Sha- okay, but she was more or less like that's like the last season I really watched mm-hmm. was the twins. Like when they start getting to Mexico and Atlanta, and I, mm-hmm. I saw like I got you feel me as you grow as a person, you kind of get tired of watching folk. Like I hate these fight I videos like that be on like. She when she was on oxygen, she was always for like, if I got an issue with you, we gonna have a conversation and whatever you want to do after that, we'll handle that. She's like, but now, now you want to fight. You're like that now, but it's like you do a lot of confessional popping. But you talk all this shit about what they do. All these girls do is talk, but you do that too. But one thing I also think, which is one reason why I don't think, I. I could compromise myself for a show because no matter what show anybody gets on, it could be a dating show, it could be Bad Girls Club, yeah. it could be Real Housewives, it could be <coughs> Love and Hip Hop. Your intent is to promote yourself and your brain. <coughs> then you get producers starting to come to you with checks yeah. to pay you for the bullshit. Like, and which is, I really yeah. think, like down to Rashida and Kurt. Like, I don't care how much y'all got paid, bruh, like, like, come on, was it really worth, was having a baby on your wife really worth, like, this, it, this some forever stuff, you get what I'm saying? Now, the baby might not have been planned, but, bruh, they showed you on TV getting this whole condo, and y'all saying, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and if you yeah, willing to let the, let, I think that was a genuine relationship. The whole Kirk and him, his baby mom thing. That was genuine. I don't think that was for TV. And here's why. If you go back. But why would you put it on TV for your wife to see? Because originally she started off a VH1 groupie. Who? The the girl. The the, the new baby. Yeah, Jasmine Blue. City boys. Remember, if you remember, they took the trip up to the cabins. When Bam, Bam, was, I remember when Bam, Bam was, was there. With, when Bam was fucking with whoever, because she wasn't with Scrap at the time. No, but she, supposedly Bam was there for Kurt that night. That sounded like that. Was, that was boy. that was a that was what is that? another kind of dramatized situation. But even still, if you look, if you go back and you really like, like I, I. I love the hip hop scene. Okay, so I ain't watched these episodes. Yeah, from New York to over Miami. And over and yeah. over. But if you go back and you play that shit back, that girl has been in multiple scenes of love and hip hop. Like just as little like extra here. Yeah. You know, because they pay people for that. Come in, whatever. I think me personally, I think you pushed up on Shorty. She saw you last time. You started fucking around with the girl, and because VH1 caught on to it. I don't, I don't think Rashida knew about the that. Yeah, they played the narrative. Yeah, I don't yeah, think, no, I, I don't I think never, Rashida knew nothing about that shit. Yeah, I never, I never thought Rashida knew anything about it. But I'm saying as far as... Okay, I get what you're saying and I can agree. But to start agreeing, recording us together, yeah. they had to come to you with a check. Yeah, and was that check worth... Was that check worth it you ruining your marriage publicly? Now, y'all good now, but at the end of the day... Come on, we women. You but get what she, I'm saying? She, she cheated too. A few times. Yeah. I mean, she was but getting, the difference she was is, different. I didn't have no baby on you. I feel it. You, you and feel I didn't play you on TV. I and feel I, it. You see, and but that, you that, did it. Yeah. It happened. Yeah. So you can't be mad at get back. My get back is never gonna be the same get back that you think that you did on me. 
He just had a baby. He I mean, just up one times ten on you. I mean, the baby was times one thousand. Real, real, real city bus. That yeah. really. So, could you come back from that? No. Could you come back from that? What? A bitch having a baby on you. Mm-hmm. Oh, they got if you was in a relationship with a girl. Oh, she had a baby on me. And she cheated on you. <laughs> oh, you and had oh. a baby oh. on you. Oh, that's already happened. Could you accept that? No. Or, or with, but, no. <laughs> but reversal, men having baby on women's is the norm. But men can't accept. When a, when, have one on when a woman have one on, I ain't gonna hold you. I done did it. Me, me and my baby daddy did stupid. We done did the dumbest shit to each other. You get what I'm saying? But did it change the dynamics of the relationship? Of course. Yeah, honestly, it did. It just which goes back to the conversation. A man will change for the female he wants to change for. Now, my, that don't mean he still ain't going to be shit. Yeah. But you feel me? Like Nevaeh said in our episode, no matter who I was with, no matter mm-hmm. what, where any of my kids came from, he mm-hmm. always took care of them. Even in his maddest moments, <laughs> he always took care of them. So, which we was having a conversation <coughs> earlier about... What was it? What men only change for the women that they want to change for? My sister kind of disagreed because she said she ain't seen a nigga change yet. Then my brother agreed, coming from a male perspective. But in my defense, <laughs> in my defense, mm-hmm. in your defense, no real nigga shit. Real shit. This is my big sister. So you've experienced way more shit than me. Yeah, and that's another reason I thing I try to, try to okay? explain. And I was in a fucking relationship for God knows how long. So my inside on shit is just different. Yeah. It's different. Mm-hmm. But what we're telling you is just don't think it's impossible. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I, but based I mean, off, based off, I feel like it's rarely happening. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's like, rare. I mean, it's, it's most rare. I made a post on Instagram yesterday like, God said there ain't no more niggas in the back. Like you gotta choose what's out there. It, choose wisely, bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. Real shit. But then I also seen some. Just, oh, cause we got. Cause that's what I was meaning to pass you. I, but I also see. <laughs> My bad, cute. Already. <laughs> but okay. Earlier I seen a message about the side chick. About, you know, anytime a man get caught up with a side chick, people always go to bash the female. <laughs> right. But you never bash the man who okay, yes, you bashing the female because Yes, most likely she you knew yeah. about the the the, the main right. or and you still, but nobody bashes the man that's still posting his wife or right. posting his girl every day. I'm talking about with the captions, with the caption captions. Sure. Y'all so in love with the emojis. Yeah. You you get what I'm saying, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you know. <laughs> You got, but ain't no, but don't, they don't talk about that. But, but they not, but they not, but they not talk about that. Back to what we was, again, what we were saying earlier. Crying in the street, ladies. That's it's her. Her. That's her. Her. Why you being weird to me? Yes. That's her. And then it goes to. That's why we talk. So who who Talks really you. has the better role, the main of the side? I would say the side. Say the side. Because you get all the I benefits do, without all the drama and the strife. Yeah. And you feel me? And you can easily <laughs> go and come as you please versus the main. You know your man, Chi. You yeah. know. Like, me and my sister know a situation where no, one female no, acts so that. clueless. Don't put me in that. Don't put me in that. Don't put me in that. I don't know shit. Yeah, she know. I don't. One female acts so clueless. About her man, but comes to us for womanly advice. All the time. 
I don't and, know what she's talking about. And when I we and, and when we give you the the drop, you go back. You go back and tell. So why are we giving you so a drop? So now we hit it with the Kevin Hart. Nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? We try, we're trying to put you up on game. Now, mainly because now, mind no, you might be you, you in your might, defense, you a good bitch. You might be Sick saying, <laughs> you, "I love you," but you, you sure you, you, you might be saying, "Why don't y'all just mind y'all business?" She comes to us all the time. You be like, "Hey," she's like, "What's going on?" She comes. To I'm us. good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Tell us what <laughs> my birthday's today. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I oh, like, didn't know. <laughs> Happy birthday, but, but who was it? I don't yeah. even know, bitch. <laughs> which, which goes to show, and then this goes for both parties, male and female. Oh, shit. When somebody show you their face, show you who they really is, believe, believe that. It the first time. Believe that. Yes, it goes hand in hand with the conversation. If a man want to change for you, that's because he wants to change. You can't make a female can't make a man change. <laughs> that's because he wants to change. But on initial, the first thing they show you, male or female, run with it. If she show you she a hoe and wants some money at the beginning, mm -hmm. run with that. That's mm -hmm. the that's the that's the foundation of the relationship. I want some money, nigga. Like the fuck do two hundred. If if you money, if you went on the first date with with, with the nigga and his phone keep going off that's and, and, and that's his good. phone is automatically flipped over like this the whole night, mm -hmm. and you done picked up for your homeboy and gave him the drop. Mm -hmm. Like you just not sitting there listening just because y'all on the first date. Believe mm -hmm. that. Run with that. Don't think you could change that if, immediately. If, if, if he got to hang up the phone at 9.30, talking about he finna go feed the kids and I'm call you back for the rest of the night, his bitch just got home. Yeah. Believe it. But believe it. It's family time. So greedy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and, and your thoughts on... That's are we, bullshit. Are we lying or are we telling the truth? Nah, you lying. You lying. You know. You know. It's not. A, it's not always. I'm sure you city niggas stay up too. Right. <laughs> now I feel like a man will. A man will change. What you for mean? A, a man female, will change. But I don't think a man will ever stop cheating. He'll. Ch you'll be the best cheater out there. You'll be the best take care of home. Yes. Like you'll be the best one out there. But a man will will not stop cheating. That's a lot. Shit. Some niggas ain't got to cheat. Name, name five faithful men. Right name, now. Name five faithful men. In your yeah. life. In my life? I don't know any. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I don't know name any. name, name five faithful home. men that, that you might think might be faithful. My, my, we'll make name three. Faith. And I'll give you one. Obama might be faithful, but he cheated in peace. Okay. But she'll give him the peace. You get know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like Obama still <laughs> cheat. Obama get, Obama get coochie. Obama get like that. How you think they yeah. lasted thirty years? And happy anniversary happy to anniversary. Michelle and Barack. A good thirty years in the game. Yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah. But yeah. but how you think that? that ass how you think they lasted to thirty years? You think in these thirty years? You think in these thirty years? Obama ain't, Obama ain't never got no other coochie. I think he got other coochie. He got good he other coochie, and especially in Washington, you know that strip. Song. It was, yeah. well, they were throwing coochie at the nigga when he was the president. Why? But you see, y'all thought. Remember, see y'all see how Obama look at back all healthy and shit now. Mm -hmm. See, but when he, he when he was in office, strength. he was graying yeah. and all that. Y'all thought he was stressing over over these wars and all this. But nah, he was stressing over them hoes. It was them hoes. There's too much. Yeah, too much pussy. He, yeah. The nigga was graying fat. He started smoking Newport. Now nah, he was smoking cool. You see Obama in the cut with a cool like with a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, he he would get too much pussy. Get too much he, pussy. He said, "I don't, I don't want to run again." Michelle said, "I can run." He said, mm -mm. "As much pussy as I would get? Hell no, nah, bitch! Yeah, you really know. gonna be getting dick down like no?" Nah. He said, "Michelle wanted Michelle to run." Uh uh uh. Boy, uh. 
Michelle would have been the first female president with a BBL. Without the BBL. Without the BBL. You feel with the she new. Had, we would have had, had great alliances. But, that would have been the first time we would have been able to use China satellites. She would have went over there. But I honestly idea. feel like if we had somebody as Michelle as president, real, real talk. She would have been the, a great president. The way of... It's not even just... You know how people look up to people. You know how... You know, not secretly is a bad word, but like Michelle is one that we all could look up to. Like girls, women, girl, even women with pride. Like, oh, I don't got no role models. But you know, Michelle, your role. You feel one yeah. of your role. Models. I feel like the way of the woman might divert a little bit, might change a little bit. Maybe the, the way we dread, the way we conduct ourselves. We don't respect Kamala. I don't give a bit. You a hoe just like us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like if. The nation had for women a real role model that's really gone. You feel me? And she walked what she talked. Mm -hmm. I think the way of the woman would slightly change because, hell, look at half of all the presidents we done. They ain't shit. So these niggas gonna continue not to be shit. Okay. Because they ain't got no positive role models in their life. At all. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's. Even niggas with positive role models ain't shit. I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you ain't, if you ain't shit, you just ain't shit. What? Just wait a minute. Um, right in the future. <coughs> oh, today? I don't. Know. <coughs> oh. I should probably read these messages that they be sending to my phone. Yeah, probably. Right. But I mean, if it's not the teacher, I'm not in the PTO. Mm. I'm. Mm -hmm. My kids not in seventh grade. My kids in kindergarten. So majority of the stuff that's coming through my phone is about like tryouts for cheerleading, basketball, baseball. Like, I mean, you're you're you're, you're on the text list. You're on the text yeah. list. I don't even sign up for the phone. Oh. But yeah, toxic situations. We love episodes like that. Mm -hmm. Our last toxic episode was really, really good. Yeah. But baby, it don't get no toxic, no more toxic than Blueface and Krishan. Shout out, shout out to y'all. Like, no, no shout outs, cause they ain't getting on my nerves. I like, mean, I think it's sexy though. I fuck with it. What's sexy about it? it? My nigga. I mean, not the abuse part. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga, <laughs> not, not them. Not them. Nah, but I think like beyond that, I think they got something deeper. I just feel like I feel like because they're in the public, I, this is how I feel. Truthfully, he took it to a whole nother level. The shit level. that they're going through is it, only, and the only reason why we see it is because they're celebrities, mm -hmm. right? And it's gonna be trending. But let's be real: how many bitches in Atlanta going through that same shit right now? That shit happen every day. The dick just good. She digmatized. I can't blame her for that shit. I seen the sex tape, so maybe that's why. How, how <laughs> was this? How was this? I mean, it just, it was big. Let me see if I can it. I want to see it. I'm going to show you. Because I personally just don't like that nigga as a nigga, period. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, he just flying in the pillow. He just, he just, he just, he just one crip nigga I've never been a fan of. He just, you get what I'm saying? And I feel <laughs> like he, for her to stay and for the shit that she be talking when she be sober, mm -hmm. I do feel like they got something deeper. Mm -hmm. But it's only so much a bitch gonna take. You only gonna, like, I don't give a fuck if it's TV or not. You just not gonna openly keep disrespecting me. I don't give a damn. Hold on, wait. <laughs> it's big, though. I mean, but it's big and for got, everybody. And that's, and that's because what you're saying is 100% facts. Now, I'm not saying I would go for it. But I'm just saying, like, if that's what you like to do and it feels good to you, get, then get yours too. If that's what you like to do and it feels good yeah. to you, then get yours too because he's not going to stop getting him. What you mean? That's not like if you gonna stay cool, take that bullshit. But then like when but you do get that, yours you, too. Because when she did that, remember he went on his little rant. He was heartbroken. You know yeah, I mean? and she says that, but but still, like Posted I, all her messages and shit. It was heartbroken. I, it, it, it was all money ain't like. He, I don't mm. think it's the money, sis. It ain't the money. Trust she me, get her money. own shit. 
the she one, get her own no, shit. One, it ain't no. got nothing to do it's with the, the women. Look. I think it's the fact that he put her on, so she feel like yes, but in a the way, man reason she owed him. Man. Yes and no. Like, uh, bitch, you done paid your dues with that nigga. Like, damn, like, you can really fly on your motherfucking own. It's all of a loyalty thing. It's all of a loyalty thing. I ain't finna, I ain't finna be too loyal to it. But that, by, by the fact, it just starts with loyalty with yourself first. She got more loyalty towards that nigga than herself. And her daddy. Where is she? Her daddy like you, let your daddy you let your daddy get punched out. That's what I'm saying. She don't have no respect for her father. Like so, no. so trying to I don't think I'm gonna let my daddy get punched out though. Not not for no little chick. And then yeah. I heard the chick one number like a little five, little five ball, little in little five thousand, not a fifty, a little five. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, you let your daddy get punched? Yeah, you could have fucked for that. Hey. Keep it expensive. Hey. But anywho, we've all been through yeah, toxic that. ass relationships, so I don't judge them. But like you were saying earlier. You know, when we talk and we give each other advice, I tell you and like my oldest, you feel me? I done been through <laughs> probably everything y'all done went through, gonna go through. Mm-hmm. Like nothing surprises me under the sun. It's sometimes, whether you know a person or not, sometimes you just want better for people. You feel me? And she's such a, you could tell, when you look past all this TV shit, like I'm a person that can she's read your really soul. Yeah, she is she's a real person. genuine person. Yeah. And he's stripping that from her. Like she's very, like, ain't no. Okay, I get, the, I get the loyalty shit I get, but bitch to get the nigga face on your, okay, on I get it. On your tooth. I'm past the neck part. Hell of motherfuckers done did that shit. But on your tooth. I ain't gonna hold you. That it's, shit was hard. No, it's just hard. It's just hard. It's just hard. No. It's just hard. Bitch, I think I got you on my no. tooth. No. Fuck are you talking no. about? Put my, face on your, put my face on your tooth, Let baby. Let me see it's real. Let me see. That's that toxic ghetto love. Show me you love, love me. Though. Like, toxic. Get over that ghetto shit. Toxic. That's why you yes. love me. No. I'm fucking I with just, it. I don't if Hell, you love me, me and my bad daddy shot face. each other, but I am not. <laughs> and we have 50 million tattoos in conjunction with each other, but ain't no way. That's next level, bitch. Ain't yes. It. Fuck that. He I has mean, set a, the bar that's a level for I'm us toxic <laughs> niggas, bro. Like, he has went I, over the level, top. I, that's a level. I'm like, like, I'm like, like, I gotta like, put you on my tooth. Like, this nigga's loose. If I gotta put you on my, if I gotta smile, like, every time of, every time a bitch smile you don't see me bitch like no yeah i'm i'm, I'm yes. straight smile that, yes that's that's like tattoo like this, so that on your motherfucking face mm-hmm. yeah what she said yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, but mm-mm. That, that's that's too much Toxic. you you y'all will grow out that shit what yeah one day one day when she gets shot yeah, you, 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 get shot. I know, and that's where they should lead, and that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to send you help, bitch. I see where it's going. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to send Damn. you help. I'm like, right, bitch, I'm trying to save you. Damn, I'm like, I get, get like, you feel me? Don't, like, don't get shot, mother. No, you know, not by accident or on purpose. You feel me? like either or, just I don't. don't mm-hmm. But next, boom, on a more serious tip, I seen the sickest shit. Basically, a female had posted this picture back when she was five or six with this guy. And the caption... Five or six? Yeah, in the picture. Years was, old? Yeah, she was five or six and the guy was grown. The guy was 22. And I know that he was 22 based on the end of the caption. So she posted it? Here, here shut the hell up, Trey. Hear me out. You <laughs> since got so, such a start. <laughs> It's just a normal Halloween picture, you feel me? She in a Halloween costume, it's just another man in the picture, just a normal picture, but it was the caption. The caption basically said, um, yeah, I'm posting this in the spirit of Halloween, blah, 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 like, like this was a normal caption for the girl. Long story short, he's now her baby daddy. Like, now she's older now, She's he's now her baby daddy, and basically in the caption she said something like, "Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought he was nasty. Then he even nastier now. Blase, blase. Nastier. Yeah, nastier now. Oh. And then. So he been. So he been. And then she said. She, and then in the, in the caption, she goes, 
yeah, uh, we started sucking it when I was five. And I yeah, guess that I was it. So, it yeah, was and he yeah. was 22. Mm-hmm. So then, like, fast forward, she, posted a she, of her baby she posted. grown and they together, he her baby daddy. And it goes to, so the question goes to, like, he taught her how to say dick. Do you think sexual. <laughs> do you think victims of Shut the fuck up, molestation or sexual predators really be really become attracted to their you feel me? Do the victims they to their eventually past. become attract yeah, mm-hmm. attracted to their past. I think so. I mean y'all you know oh, about so you, you the big deal they made about the dude and his goddaughter when she finally got grown he married her and shit. It was like, bro, you've been around this girl since she was ten. But I feel like some some young girls don't know when they're being groomed. Yeah. At early ages. That's, 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 that's really fucked up. It's really fucked. It's really sickening. It really. It was like, bro, but, why? How do like, wow. other niggas let other niggas stand around like this? You get what I'm saying? Like, like. How do you know? It got, mm. That'd be the question. Yeah. How yeah. Do you know? That's the question right there. How do yeah. you really know? How can you tell? You if they're really not know. showing no signs of it, how the fuck am I supposed to just be? You can't assume everybody like that because then you start burning bridges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's. I'm trying to figure out why with the girl. Especially with that caption. I want to find it, but I'll show you in a minute. Like, like she Why really posted a picture put, of her being that. molested. Like, she, like, bro, can really be filed, getting filed charges on right now. Like, right. She, she, was really like, I was, she was like, I was five and he was 22. You can't. I was like, five when and it's, when he was it it it's, it's, started. It's, it's, it's on, uh, you know, the rape cases only got a certain amount of time before they can prosecute it. It technically never stopped. It does right. Matter. They start from the time that it started. It does start. They start from the time that it started. No, nah, because I can't say that because why you think they came after Bill uh, thirty years later? And exactly. Even, even R. Kelly. Th- it never stops. So you can't you can't say that. And then he ain't stopped fucking it anyway. So it still it ain't like he ain't got evidence against. Yeah. Him. Yeah. He could prosecute that man right now. He'd be fucked up. And bitch, you just admit it to it. Okay, so even if, say the situation wasn't that bad, say. What you know, mean? Wasn't no, that no, no, bad? no, 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 no. <laughs> let me finish the situation. Let me. I'm telling you an example, goofball. No, I want to hear your honest opinion. I'm starting out. Say the situation wasn't that bad. Say you got a homeboy. Okay. He's 24. Okay. And you know, he fucking with a look. Fourteen. I give you fifteen. Is you gonna turn the other eye? Be real. No, I mean, gonna have to shoot the fact. We gotta shoot the fact off the principle. We gotta shoot the fact. We gotta shoot the fact. What's the principle? But she finna be sixteen, bro. But what's the principle? But that's right, and you know that. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna tell. I ain't but gonna go look, 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 look at her, bro. She grown. Look, oh, look. She, who she gives a flying fuck? Who cares? If it's that bad, bro, you can wait since she ain't time. You can wait. If it's that bad. I feel like it's too I many homeboys that's not. Like situation. We got you. <laughs> if, if I actually know that you fucking with a game, nah, bro, I gotta shoot the face with you, bro. Hell no. <laughs> no. Because you, you wouldn't let that shit fly people locked up. Oh, God, you wouldn't let that shit fly people locked up. So you gonna hold by a dreadhouse room and shit. Basically. That's just my principle anyway. Shit, I got too many nieces. I feel like it's a fact. And that'd be my principle. I got too yeah, many fucking niece nieces, bro. Don't take your ass home. Exactly. Mama. So I don't give a my fuck what you look like. Yeah, right. I don't give a fuck what that's you look like. like. Call your mama. Right now. That's how I feel now. Because on the flip note, now my I'm not saying that I was fourteen when nigga twenty four, but you know, on the flip note, I don't lied about my age before. You get what I'm saying? You know, I teach my girls not to do that now, you know, based on knowing what can come, what can come behind that. But 
if I would today, if I was to see a young ass uh, like on one end, black don't crack. You get what I'm saying? But if I know she visually, visually like, like if baby. I just know she a baby, I don't give a fuck if she your cousin. You this not the, you feel me like no it's like I'm I'm a I'm a ch I'm a check it I don't need I don't care if it's in public I'm gonna check it got to like I'm a check it got to bro right? because that shit ain't right it's not but I don't it's give a fuck how old are you it, like no for how real? old are you for right. real what y'all did right nah the other one talking about the school I did like, I ain't gonna hold you <coughs> when I was younger I had one of my <coughs> runaway from home episodes. Long story short, I came across a female that hit me with the, how old you is? Like, I think I lied to her. She knew I lied, you know what I'm saying? She straight up, take your ass home. I don't give a fuck what you going through, what you arguing about with your peoples, with your, you feel me? As long as that, like, is your home safe? As long as your shit's safe and you just having to take, she said, take your ass home. These streets is not where it's safe. Like... And these kids think it's something. Ain't nothing in these streets, but... Nothing. I feel like the day that we all had that stranger come and have that conversation with us was the day that we really went to the streets. Yeah. At least I can say for me. Yeah. Like, the more you preach, the, the streets ain't for you. She said, I'm going to go see why. Honestly, it I was, was it, it was it was it was flipped for me. Like, I, t I was always the type of person that I'm, I'm going to do what I want regardless, but... I took heed in it and then based on the situation I was in when she was giving me that conversation mm -hmm. like you know I ain't put the, the environment I was in at mm -hmm. the time it hit different yeah you get what I'm saying so if it was just a normal catch me at the mall like you feel me you look like a runaway like nah it was the situation that mm -hmm. I was in so it hit that she, nah this ain't what you want and then what I'm saying with you around like yeah bitch not saying that my <laughs> it's a situation is always like that, mm -hmm. but I just happen to catch you in this situation. You give me, yeah, bitch, this might not be <laughs> yeah. what it be. It won't you feel me? Yeah. So it just, I think the the older ones and the OGs need to do better with having these type of conversations. Sure. We gotta figure out a way to get out there. You need to go back to giving back to the community. Yeah. Everybody said greedy for good money and they pay it if you got about what it is. There's still for. ones that do that. It's still some. And then the still. and then the ones that that's still under the radar today. Yeah, it's still it's still ones that do that. I still see that. I can say that. And them folks still under the radar. Them I folks ain't them folks don't even pop out until unless they doing something for the community. Yeah. We need to do something for the community. We're gonna do something real soon that we don't know yet. But we gonna do something real soon. Speaking of, y'all know Halloween coming up. Period. We're having a double episode. It's going to be the We Good podcast mm -hmm. and the Keeping It One Hundred mm -hmm. Talk Show, mm -hmm. both in this thing together. We're gonna have a costume party. Period. A real truth or dare spook edition. Which I think I should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What? What you thought? What you thinking? Cause I seen I seen the sexy little ninja outfit. No, I don't I'm know gonna what. Ninja. No, I'm I, gonna be the top. No, I king. still want to do the little city girl thing from the little episode, like like we, yeah, and get and huh? I'm the toxic yeah. king. Oh, you gonna be future? Oh, dead. You gonna get a dread, oh, a, a dread, a dread. Where you gonna get your wig from? You gonna six nine it? <laughs> Don't put like, him in the same sentence as me. You know, you know. Don't put him in the same blood sentence as me. Good glue. Good glue. Mm. Speaking of laces and piercings and stuff, mm. Lil Uzi just got a belly ring. How about Uzi? And Ain't that your boyfriend? Yes. And I, you know, I feel like we've been giving males passes on a lot of our shit for a minute. You feel me? Like even when y'all start doing the facial piercing stuff, gave you little passes. You, you know, you know, take off on your rock star shit. You get what I'm saying? 
I don't but see, I don't see the purpose in that. First question, sis, what is male piercing no nos? Yeah, belly burden for one. <laughs> <laughs> And we love you, sis. JT, you know, sis, you sis in spirit. But you gonna have to. Uh, uh. You gotta undo that, bad. Mm-hmm. That's what, how you feel about the male nose rings. I think that I don't have no problem with that. I mean, just as long as it's like one. Once you're getting like double. Yeah, and, don't be overdoing it. Don't be, <laughs> don't be doing all that. Tongue rings. Mm. Mm. Say so. So like <laughs> Okay, so I had it with the tongue ring before I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Me too. So And it was okay, but it's not for you. Visually, it looked wrong. Like I don't want to be talking this is, to this is very talking wrong. to a nigga, and I'm like, this is very very wrong. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> a nigga had a tongue <laughs> ring made me want to get one. Like it's cute, but I can't. I like you talk to other. Like I can't. Pa- like imagine you passing a boy to your homeboy like, that got a tongue ring and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like nigga, you ain't finna hit. And my then like you not finna be. Yeah, like we can't smoke together, nigga. Like I'm. A, I got my own weed. I smoked before I got here. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I'm good. Yeah, what about males and nipple pierces? That's a no no for me. A man that asks me to touch his nipples is a no no for me. I'm not touching your nipples. I'm not a. Uh, no. Stop <laughs> me. Like, nigga, fuck you. No, I'm not. Uh uh-uh. uh. Trey, you like your nipples from the look? Do I like Just my nipples from the look? <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. Just, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. You might just flick it one time, you come and say, it's like, you know. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'll just do a little, 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 Yeah, he, he like you know, like, you know, funny story. Funny story. I was sexually engaged with somebody one time. And we was in a missionary position. This is too much. Wait, go, we was in a missionary position. So I kept trying to figure out, my you all talking to me. Why you keep trying to put your chest near my face and shit? So hit the left one time, you know, you know, and I feel, you know, I feel it coming again. Like hit the right one time. I was like, maybe this nigga, <laughs> maybe this nigga, drunk, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Then a nigga did it for real, but like smothered me with it. Like, what did you do? You know like, can you get up? Can you get up? Like, like goddamn. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm like, you I, you know, I look up, you I, be right, like, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm like, you my motherfucking yeah. birthday, y'all. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So I, y'all need to take a shot. And he was like, I like, he was like, I like my, he was like, I like my, my, you know, t- okay, that's cool. If you didn't have a titty, like, bitch, you didn't have a flat chest, nigga. You wanted to put a titty in my mouth. You wanted to put a dollar for Daisy in my motherfucking mouth, bitch. So, goddamn, I didn't, so, I didn't know. A nigga better not ever come to me talking about, you want, and that's cool, I like that. But no, nigga. Take a shot and shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, he tried to put, so he was like a bad nigga. <laughs> Yes, a big one. <laughs> so you say he had one of your dicks. So you say he had one of your dicks and one of other Don't do me. First of all, me and my sister Titty's the same size. Thank you. And his was too. <laughs> and his was too. Damn, bitch, it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he did. Damn. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's 
chapter 12. 12, 33. Right. <laughs> one, two. Me the on, on to the next. On to the next. But, but. I died and then I had to rejuvenate myself. Don't do that. They drop it. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, you remember, remember mm-hmm. that one time, game got me back. It was one of them moments. Mm. It was one of them moments. Mm-hmm. But yes. Mm. Anywho, on another note. Kanye West is around here walking around with shirts that say white lives matter on Oh yeah, bro. He he has some backlash back there. Like, what in mm. the hell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Shout out to the shade room. But yeah, I keep like, going on. But mm-hmm. Kanye, like. Kanye don't like black people, bro. He Uncle Ruckus <laughs> of the hood. Bro. Him and Charleston, for real. Him and Charleston, like, I don't, like. That nigga that, nigga that don't like Like, first you change your racist. fashion to these bum-ass clothes. That yeah, part, them big-ass peacocks. We gonna I, stop buying Yeezys on your bitch ass. No, what, what? You know, Adidas oh, made their own version called the Adidas phone. While the G- Yeezys is 400, the phones is 199. And we so finna be on the phones I'm now. On, I'm finna the, the phone edges or whatever. We boycotting. They, whatever they I'm call. Fuck that you know what I'm me. Saying? Because. You ain't Yeezus. Because cause Kanye, you tripping. Yeah, but you tripping. I feel like. Talking about white lives matter. They killed George Floyd. The fuck? How they matter? I hate this something. Nah, but for real though, like I, oh, I, I, shit, did, bro. I, that nigga. I even think that George Floyd situation. I bet you what Tommy Hilfiger on the regular. Than what it is. Who? I, Kanye. But, but don't get it twisted. I like Tommy. I've always liked Tommy. And but Tommy he put, ain't put Tommy, your wait, Tommy put it out there that said, "Don't put, don't try to put me in the Gucci category and shit." I like niggas rocking my shit. So yeah, I, I've been rocking with Tommy since the Leah days. It was not and Tommy for girl, black people. And, Polo said that. Ralph Lauren said that. Tommy said he didn't mind because he had he had the little Puerto Rican girl from um <laughs> White Man Can't Jump, the little dancing bitch from you know that show in Living Color. Yeah, yeah he yeah. had Rosie Perez and another nigga. So don't do Tommy. I'm down with you, Tommy. Tommy girl was my first. Tommy girl. Tommy, like Tommy was my first yeah. bootleg yeah. clothes okay. and real clothes. And Tommy girl was my first perfume. Don't play. What was your first like perfume that you can remember? Mm. Um, it was from Macy's. Mm-mm. It was Paris Hilton. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, I, yeah. Grandma gave that to you. Not too much, no. My mama. Um, okay. it's like a pink thin black bottle. So okay. Lovely. Yeah, I like her fragrances too. And like back in the day, Rihanna, um, beginner fragrances was yeah. good. You was a curved nigga. Uh, or 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 or, or juice spice nigga. or ju- don't old spice my nigga. He look like you. old spice nigga. Or was you an axe nigga? I was definitely an axe. <laughs> but but I ain't gonna hold you. Eat the nigga in the classroom. Oh, <laughs> old spice son came. No, <laughs> no. Coming in with them flavors, I ain't gonna hold you. I was you. the nigga in the classroom before I get the class. Yeah, I got okay, yeah. Old spice coming with them flavors, yeah, no. I ain't gonna hold. I had that oil on me. <laughs> Oh, you was the body oil nigga. No, yes, yes. I'm for the hoes. For the hoes. Yeah, you saw you saw body oil the bootleg tapes. Nah, I sold candy at school. Oh God, I was the candy man. I had was walking around with a duffel bag in every school. You walk around with a duffel bag everywhere you go. Duh, because it's either drugs in there now. <laughs> <laughs> Blue. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what we doing. <laughs> On another note, on another note, sis, yeah. pop up question. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Okay. I want that. I'm sorry. Was was Danny Lee wrong? <laughs> We're going to start with the Wild and Out episode. Was Danny Lee wrong for requesting B. Simone to be removed from her episode based off her baby daddy? 
Okay, so we're just we're just that while in it. Yes and no. I feel I honestly feel she would. No, because I feel you know you feel as though you protecting your peace. Or whatever the fuck the case may be, whatever text messages, whatever, right? At the end of the day, that's personal. Why well, not? It's a business. So, whatever y'all got going on, like, let's be real. B. Simone could have been petty and made a big, big deal to Nick, like, who your loyalty lied to, da 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 da, and stopped your back too. But she didn't. So, that didn't make any sense to me. I don't think she can stop Nick bag. No, it's her mind. No, yeah, I'm not. saying Danny's bag. Oh, oh. Because at the end of the day, you got to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, they might got a business relationship, Danny and yeah. Nick. You know, cool, come on my show. Just like here, come on my show. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is our loyalty. You get what I'm saying? So, if I'm saying jump, and you like... You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not gonna make any sense. That's not gonna make no sense. I feel like I get where she was mm. coming from, cause I naturally, in past or present, don't want to be around a bitch who was possibly fucking up my nigga, but you was in love with him for a, a point. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, but also on the flip note, both of y'all artists. So you could have took that opportunity to get whatever you wanted out of your motherfucking it. chest. You feel me? You both ways. Shit, you could have shit it on him. You could shit it on her. Right. You could have really, if you really want to keep it 100, you could have took that, instead of getting her removed from the show, you could have took that same moment as you protecting your peace and said to her, look, look, bitch, you and me, mm -hmm. let's talk. We gonna talk like women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And whatever the fuck we got going on personally, we're not going to bring that shit to the camera because that's what he want. Exactly. That's what he want at the end of the day. And he's, he's happy he's, as fuck he's, about uh, this shit. Pl publicity. Fiend. Fiend. Yes. Like, that's one thing the baby is. But I did not. Uh, now, Danny, like, you set yourself up for that shit when mm -hmm. you got with the nigga. Like, we everybody all tried to tell you. Everybody told you so. We all tried to tell you, which gonna bring me to jock in a second. <coughs> but they all tried to tell you, you thought you was gonna come. And he just, you just wasn't one of the ones he wanted to change for. Not saying that he'll never change. You just went, but you was confident. But you, you just, you wasn't one of the ones. But how he tried to play you out. How he really, how the baby really lame. tried to play play her out. That that shit was lame. That was lame. Yeah. Like because you know for a fact that she was more than what you trying a, to put it out there. And dude. another thing, even you can attest to this. This why it was really lame. I don't give a damn what a nigga say. A nigga know who he want to skeet in and not. A nigga know when and how to pull out. Yeah. A nigga know who he want to have a baby with or not. So, Once even by you. But I ain't going to cap. Bitches do get pregnant out pre-cum. Oh, God. Bitches do get pregnant out pre-cum. You don't trust them hoes. But. I don't get no. I'm dead serious. I'm. Look. 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 So, so you, you took a shot because you think I'm lying or you took a shot because. I just took a shot. Oh, okay. I'm 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 one of the fertilists of the fertilists like Oh okay. Matter of fact, did I take my pill today? Let me take it with a shot. But um <laughs> Like I said with a shot, it's gonna cancel. Like like I said, bitches get pregnant <laughs> off pre cum. Bitches get pregnant off pre cum. But in 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 general, a, a a nigga know how to pull out. Thank you. Like ain't no and pull also, out game with shit. Gonna, like, we ain't gonna just put it out on the niggas bitches. Uh Y'all bitches know. be trapping niggas. Cause no. y'all cause Shut we the fuck tell up. you to get no. your no. up. Honestly, y'all don't, don't be getting up no. sometimes. The percentage All of the, the trapping is way higher for men. Then I don't know why y'all put that statistic on females all that these is not years. The case. Because that is not the case. No, I niggas do be the trapping. The percentage of oh, trapping God, is 
it is so is on the men. Men started that trap and shit. It goes all the way down to your African ancestors where they make the little young girls get married to these old ass motherfucking men at eight and nine and shit. You that trapped the bitch. You African African bitch. African they been, it went eight, they nine, been, it was ten. They, they been trapping bitches early. In twelve. It was. It was been, tra dead. been trapping bitches early. So he, you know, even though you played yourself, sis, he played herself out. But... Y'all saw the little boogeyman video clip he just dropped. Talking about he was freaking on Megan Thee Stallion and Tori Do and all this other stuff like fucking on these it, bitches. It, is, is that is that is that lame? It's, um, it, it, you know, is that lame of your homeboy to do that? Like you get what I'm what, saying? What, like you know, just just to put that out there and how you put that out there, like we know you a comedic ass rapper and shit, but like was that lame of him to do that? What they put out that he fucking on? Very much so. I I think it, it's an album thing. I think More he yeah. I think he More just did that just I think he bitter. Better no, like because they they bitter? really trying to because he getting blackballed he, he, out yeah, the industry. Like he's, he's really finished. he's really he's, gotten blackballed. Who who the baby? The, the baby. No. Out the he's industry. Finished? How's he finished? He's, Man, ever man. since the whole. Do talking shit about them gay did. people and and no offense to yeah, the LGBTQ. He did, he did, he did, shout did that. out. That was that dude. That was cool. But he uh, talked out about this. Yeah, I was like you. I was but like, he really even then didn't say nothing wrong for me. I was real. like, yeah, like, it's cool. He didn't say nothing wrong. It's cool for you to have your opinion, like, but it's like to say that shit publicly as as the type of person that, that you are. That ass got canceled. I yeah, think. yeah, like they 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 they, they did. Yeah, they did for going and finish. I just think his now was getting old. Like, I was over the baby before all that damn shit. Like, it's just oh, every if you listen to his music, it's the same. I was fucking with the That's nigga, how I feel you know about young boy. People but I feel like Whoa, hold on now. That's young how I feel boy, about young boy. Young, 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 young boy. boy no. I'm good on young boy for real. Like no, I like young boy on niggas' no, features. No, you know, young boy, young boy, young boy had. Young boy is very misunderstood. See, you know what I'm saying? He nigga beat that case. He though. has a okay. he definitely yeah. beat that case. You know what I'm saying? Nigga beat that you know what case. I mean? though. But still, he's very misunderstood, bro. And uh, and folks don't don't just understand it. But a lot of his music is is really like uh, he's just letting out what the hell he just he just went through at the time. Like, and only a certain few people can relate to it. And I ain't gonna care, bro. I fuck with him, bro. I, I feel like young boy is one of the ones. He remind me of a Disney kid. He one of the ones that's too deep into Hollywood now. <laughs> he too deep, like dead, dead ass. Like they don't, yeah, like they don't fuck his mind. Like they don't fuck his mind up. And I don't, I don't. Mm. Yeah, I really, yeah, I don't know what he had going on. With them. Make up shit. But I don't I don't know. Yeah, man. Like shit, I don't know his life. But still, it's just like I don't know. It's just a fan of him. I'm, I'm mad I mean, so them, yeah, them young boy the fans time. be heavy. I ain't gonna hold you, y'all young boy fans. But girl, man, I can't, you know he a toxic nigga. So too. speaking of young boy, sidebar all this shit. Days in Atlanta one on one. Why I hate it here? Because <laughs> we talk about young boy. I ain't never told you. So I went went on a date with this dude, right? We talking. Mind do we have the pool? We talking. We conversating. He played young boy. I'm like, you know, you're not having a good time. I'm like, it's not that I'm not having a good time. I just the ambiance I, that you're setting, nigga, is it's not, not me. me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not interested. You're playing young boy. Like, I'm, okay. All right. So he like, he go, you don't fuck young boy. I'm like, no, not really. You know this nigga got mad. I'm talking about like we dead ass argued. Oh, them young boy fans do we not argue. Play. Okay, and then you bring your friend and his girlfriend. You bring them into the conversation. Now I got two, and she don't know what she talking about. Some other shit. I don't know what the fuck she talking about. I don't know what the fuck she you talking just about. Just came in it. And at this point, I'm ready to go. That was the day I got pushing. <laughs> All because you weren't no young boy. All because I wasn't a young boy. <laughs> you know what? I had. <laughs> I had... You a young boy or Damn, you a young boy? Damn, what did you drown? What did you talk about? I 
out. <laughs> you drown. This one nigga about this one celebrity I used to fuck with, fuck with hard. And when I say the nigga stopped listening to the nigga music after that, like, and he one of my favorites, you know, shout out Southside, Color Paul. But anywho, yeah, like all the way down to he stopped listening to the nigga music. And I was like, bro, it's not that serious. Like all the hoes he's talking about in there, I'm pretty sure I, I was maybe amongst them. But he's not talking about me. Like he literally, he literally hated the nigga from then. So I just said, I never even told him motherfucker that no more. Like, but that celebrity shit is that regular shit. But guess what? What? If you already have it, okay. what they need to do so? They need to like. And what up? Comment. And what up? Share. And for sure. Subscribe. And yeah. And then you need to hit that main. Already. And then after you do all that, you need to share that thing. Share that thing. Share that thing. Share that thing. Because we ain't sure no end of the shit. We ain't sure no end of the shit. See, Q, we did good. Yeah. Uh -huh. We did good, Q. See, we did good. I waited. I remember. Yeah. I fucking remember it. Yes, but. All right, nothing else is going on in entertainment news. They're having me on India. So, ooh, he did in India still. I'm India. You done stayed strong, girl. You did a good job. You did a good job. She's fucking home? I heard she's fucking thug. And if she is? And. He had a baby. And then the, and then the baby mama is like, leave my baby daddy alone. And then, but wait a minute. That's like texting your baby mama on every the time a nigga have a what? baby on a female, the, like, the baby mama don't even be like, the baby mama always be a, 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 a chick like, where the fuck did you come from, asshole? Like, yeah. you feel me? You don't cheat on me and have a baby with the... I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. No, it always be the And who the fuck I'm gonna punch your ass in your motherfucking face. Which goes back to when a nigga show you who he is for the first time, believe that shit. Like but him. last but not least, I gotta speak on this because I just so happened to watch uh Love and Hip Hop Atlanta last night. Kendra and Job. Now first of all Oh and Danny, you lame for uh getting Kendra Lee canceled or whatever. Uh, Cause yeah, bitch, we was gonna get on you next on that shit, but we forgot. But I didn't. Yeah, you was lame as fuck. You was lame as fuck for that shit. Because what Kendra for do? Sure. Cause what did she Cause do? Ken, Cause Kendra said she was really gonna call out that shit that we yeah. wanna know, we wanna ask. Like and she don't want that. Like, She's lame as fuck. I mean, but anyway, sorry. No, Drop no, no, you good. But so it then came out that damn one of his side hoes then came out, and, bro. The so difference between be see, I, I really want us on the Keeping It One Hundred show to really have. Uh, I want to get some real side hoes like that's open the top. But like the difference between the OG side hoes and the new side hoes. The OG <laughs> side hoes used to keep their mouth shut. There's no one. Bills talk. used to be paid forever for years. Mm -hmm. You was a whole different family for years. Those was the ones that went it. Why y'all so itchy to put it in the motherfucking face? Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't gonna change shit. He's still gonna be with her. Period. You well, are I'm a side like, for a reason. Like, I can replace you. So I'm trying to figure out where, when and where did the rules change where you felt like you had to record it and, and you see what I'm saying? Like, 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 like call a nigga out and shit. Like, bro, like. like Bitches have fucked up the game. You just make it. It's gotta be that cat stacks, ho. And and Korean, but at least you got paid off your book. But they when they, it started with that cat stacks, ho, too, like, like, yeah. But anywho, mm -hmm. till the next one, good peoples. You already That's know y it's the We Good podcast in yeah. this thing. It's your girl Southside One Hundred. You already know it's your girl Kelly Cash. And y'all already know it's great. It's short as nigga around, but I will see y'all. Already to the next one. We out. Bow. We out. <laughs>